Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo says he approved the joint venture financing of the NNPC. Does this provide answers to many questions raised in the leaked letter? We'll find out. And Inspector General of Police Ibrahim Idris dragged Senate President Bukala Taraki and the Senate Committee on Ethics and Privileges to court a day after the federal government sued Senator Misao over injurious statements. Many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today, live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Wakimbalo in Lagos. Before we go into the major headlines of today, here are all the top stories we're following for you. Well, we'll bring you uh, the political roundup in just a moment. But let us tell you some of the top headlines we have. The Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris, has filed a suit against the Senate President, Bukola Saraki, and the Senate Committee on Ethics and Privileges. Ibrahim Idris is asking the court for a declaration that the committee set up by the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to investigate the allegations brought against him are null and void. This is how the story has developed. If you've lost track, then we remind you tonight, yesterday the federal government through the office of the Attorney General of the Federation, Mr. Abubakar Malami, SAN, filed four charges against a missile. Senator Misao had alleged that the IGP paid 2.5 million naira to get special promotion and posting through the Police Service Commission. Upon resumption of the Senate from the break, the senator accused the IG of fraud and sexual misconduct and the Nigerian Senate had agreed to launch an investigation into the allegation. In August, the police said they were investigating Senator Misao for alleged forgery of his retirement letter from uh, the service. The force des uh, described Misao as a police deserter and in September, the Police Service Commission confirmed the retirement letter of Senator Misao Chairman Senate Committee on Navy from the force as authentic. 